For many, back to school means back to the kitchen table. As many districts like St. Paul and Minneapolis go digital, internet access is more critical than ever. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, there is a push to make sure that low-income families have access to free, high-speed internet. For some parents, it's a phase they'd like to forget, but soon they'll have to remember how to make virtual learning work. Go to the old your day room and watch TV <laughs> because the internet is low, low, low. Like many, Lorraine has been trying to coordinate three different kids' classes in virtual speech therapy sessions with mixed results. But her husband is the only one working now, and money is a challenge. She says her dream for herself and others a free internet. <laughs> in this group of advocates gathered outside Comcast in St. Paul is asking for that free high speed internet. Families are attending, as Rashad said, a free public education, and that free public education should be completely free. The parents here praised Comcast for helping erase debts of families who couldn't afford to pay their internet bills. Now they say it's up to districts in the state to help bridge the digital divide. Comcast is asking for the same too. They're offering a $10 monthly program, but are asking for more state and district support so they can make it free. We're talking about low wealth families who don't have the opportunities, and it's past time for school districts to step up. He says other districts like Burnsville and Spring Lake Park have already stepped up. He's expecting others to follow suit because it's almost time for that virtual bell to ring. We have worst in nation achievement gaps. And I think that if families don't have the support they need heading into this fall, there's a huge sink call that's waiting for a lot of our students. In St. Paul, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News.